Well, in the other semi-final, Wasps defeated Bristol 47-24. There was another big performance from Jack Willis, uh, 19 turnovers in seven games, uh, similar to Simmons. Uh, how long can it be before he's capped by England? Again, is this just down to all the media hype? I <laughs> he's mean, not going to he, get capped? Uh, I think there's, there's media hype, and then there's he's literally kicking the door down. He's saying, pick me in a very polite manner. My only um, question to, I suppose, you guys and, and just the general rugby listeners, if, if we've got any listeners, is like, who do you displace? Who, who do you drop out of your England back row? Uh, who do, do you get rid of a Curry? Do you get rid of a, an Underhill, Billy Vonapola? Who, who goes where? Because, I mean, we've all got our favourite players, um, but only, only kind of two, two flankers can play. So, I mean, Underhill, Jamie, you watched him closely with Bath the other day. Like, yeah, look, he, he's going all, good guns, Those right. three back rowers can't start every game. So I, th- I think England, they're in a bloody healthy place if they've got four or five of those guys knocking on the door. For me, Willis plays like that throughout the season. He'll start at six for the Lions. Um, he's that impressive. He's got everything. I think he's powerful. I think he's wonderful over the ball. He's so abrasive. His contact area skills are arguably unmatched in England at the minute. You know, you look at the number of turnovers he's won. I think he's on like 45 and the next person's on about 20. Um, The stats are that far away. He's mightily impressive in the contact area. Who do you displace? It's a good question. He's going to get an opportunity. It's a question, you know, Dills, you made the point earlier. Does he take it? You know, how many players have we seen be brilliant in club rugby? And then when it comes to the sink or swim of test rugby, you know, they they freeze. They don't take their chance and we don't see them for another few years. Let's remember Jack Willis likely would have got capped by England two years ago before he blew out his knee. And, you know, it's a testament to him that he's he's come back um, in the form he has. You know, his rehab, he's obviously been very diligent um, and he's performing now for Wasps when it really matters. And so I, I, for me, there's no doubt he has to be given opportunity over this next season um, to show if he if he can uh, swim in an England jersey. Do, do you know what you, you bang on? You bang on, Jamie. Like he, he's got the shot window. He's he's got that Premiership final to basically step up to the big stage and and ask the question to to selectors. And um, if you look at the position, it's such an attritional position. Um, the amount of impacts that back row has taken a game. Um, Six Nations, you know, Autumn Internationals coming up. There's yeah, there's rotation, there's injuries, there's opportunities present themselves there. So uh, I think without too much media hype, we will see him sniffing in and around Eddie Jones's squad.